Hello again, a new day, a new project. Today I'm going to show you how to measure the output power of a power amplifier. If you remember, I had this power amplifier pulled a few days ago, as this one with uh, 7294, if you remember. That's a small one, you know, maybe like 15, 20 watts or something, but that doesn't really matter. So what we got here? First of all, we have the amplifier, you know, the build amplifier. Then we have a dummy load, 8.1 ohms. Then, of course, my spectacles. A couple of connection wires and my little oscilloscope, DCO138. And you know, many people are saying this is a toy. It's not a toy at all. If you know how to use it, you can make a lot of nice things with it. And afterwards, the last one is my computer. And that one will generate signals. I'm going to make the computer a kind of signal generator. And we'll test the power, the output power of this little amplifier. And I'll show you how to do that and what kind of mathematics do we need. There will be no more doubt about Okay, so let's put the things together. First of all, I got the amplifier here and that's a very simple TDA7294. I showed you before how I did it. Let me put the cables together for now. But instead of doing any other new cables, you know, I can use this kind of adapter. You see? This one goes in here. The other one goes to the computer out, right there, of course, headphones, okay, new window, 16-bit, that will make it mono, 44 kilohertz here, simple synthesis, and here we have a panel, we can choose, let's say, 10 seconds of 1 kilohertz, 1,000, you see there, 1,000 hertz signal. Yeah, instead of right file, we just do a preview. And now we should hear the sound over here. Of course. That's one kilohertz over there. Okay, let's taste the dummy load. 8.23. Okay, let's write this down. I have another instrument. I may say this is a really good, almost professional. One point let me connect the dummy load here that should be the, the loudspeaker out now the amplifier should be working what we have to do is to connect the oscilloscope in parallel I know that black is ground so we connect this to ground and red is the active it's plus I may say we got the signal over here. The computer is working, it's generating, but it's on red like hell. So we have to put it here down. And now we have minus 7.1 dB. And all we have to do now is to apply input. And we start having output power. We have 1 kilohertz and we're going almost to clipping. You see, now it's clipping. I can't go farther than this. You see down here it's clipping, up there it's clipping too. So this is maximum I can get. And now it's very simple. We have here VLMS, that means voltage LMS equals 10.47 volts so we have over there 100 hertz you see it here volume a little bit more okay starts clipping already so i think this is the this is the best and we have almost the same numbers 747 1067 
around here. That's 1067 volts, 100 hertz. 5000 hertz now. You see the frequency up here? And let's see if we can manage to have uh, 20,000. Yes, we have 20,000. Let's change the time to 20 or even 10 microseconds. Volume, thing like this, not more. And we have like exactly the same numbers. We have the numbers with 8.23 ohms resistance. That's enough for now. Let's do the same measurements, but with 4 ohms. Half of this. There are two ways. Even I split the resistance in two. We do a very brute way. So we are in the middle of the dummy. And let's check the resistance first of all. 4. 0.17 ohms. Let's write that down. Let's have a uh, one kilohertz, one thousand hertz. Time base to zero two. That's okay because we need we need a lot of space over there to see about the limitation. Oh, now it's clipping. You see, it's clipping very easy on 8.66 volt okay so that's the point here 8.86 8.86 volts power okay it's clipping we stop right here so we have 8.66 rms we got the numbers we got the frequencies we have to put all these things together. Let's try to apply this formula here. So power, the output power will be voltage square on the resistance, divided by the resistance. So let's take the first case we got here. So we got here one uh, to this frequency, 100 hertz. Yes, we have RMS 10.67 times 10.67, and we're gonna divide this by 8.30 ohms. This was our dummy load, if you remember, 8.23. And we have a result over here of 13.68 watts. 1000 Hz. It was the same RMS voltage. So it's almost nothing else to do. It's exactly the same. 13.68 it's absolutely the same over here 5000 hertz it's absolutely the same so we got 13.68 watts of power but remember this amplifier is under voltage and the power supply is understated anyway so this was the maximum it could do for now. It's just an experiment if we take it that way. Let's take the other case. When I have this 4.17, so almost half of, uh, of the resistance out. And now to 100 Hertz, we have 8.45 volts times 8.45 volts equal 71.4 and that's divided by 4.17 so over here now we have 
17 watts. So you can see that easily on 4 ohms we gain around um, 3.54 watts more. Of course with a better power supply it could be better. It's a huge difference between frequencies. We have, uh, we have like for 1000 uh, Hz 8.86 maybe uh, we have to count that a really loud speaker it's in the same time an uh, impedance I didn't have any impedance over there it was just a dummy load it was just a simple resistance but the impedance also have that role in the in the audio chain but anyway, it doesn't really matter, we're just making simple uh, mathematical things here. 18.82 So it's looking like the power went up to a higher frequency, 5000 Hz. Okay, it's kind of strange. This is test 1, this is test 2. Two kind of dummy loads, 8 ohms. 4 ohms. There are a lot of things involved of measuring uh, when you're measuring RMS voltages and power and so on. So what I can say finally, buy a cheap, it's a very cheap DC 138 $15 or something. <laughs> you see we are talking here about very low powers but you have huge amplifiers then all these things let's say we can have another probe then we put a resistance of 10 mega ohms and that makes a 10x divider so instead of checking 13 Point sixty-eight watts of power. We can check one hundred and thirty-six point eight. This little oscilloscope it can be calibrated somehow to measure really big power amplifiers. That's it for now, guys. Thank you very much. Hope to see you well. Bye bye.